Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to explain the check constraint. The check constraint is used to limit what values can be placed in a column. For example, I live in the United States. Depending on which state you live in, there is a minimum hourly wage that employers have to pay. In this example, let's set an hourly pay to our employees table. Every employee needs to be paid at least the minimum wage in that region. And we can do that with the check constraint. We have our table of employees. If I were to recreate this table, it would look like this. I think that was pretty close. To add a check to a column at the end of our table, this is what we would write. Check, then within parentheses, what sort of condition do we want? Let's check to see if our hourly pay column is greater than or equal to maybe $10 per hour. That will be the minimum wage in this region. This would work if we were to create this table. However, it's typically a good idea to give your check a name. Just in case you need to drop it later, you can easily identify it. So precede check with constraint, then a constraint name. What about chk meaning check underscore hourly pay. This check will be known as check hourly pay, so we can identify it. Then we can drop it or make any changes to it if we need to. I do already have an employees table, so I'm not going to execute this statement. But to add a check constraint to a table, you would just add a row like this to the bottom. If you instead need to add a check constraint to a table that already exists, this would be the syntax. Alter table, the name of the table, add constraint, then we need a unique name for this constraint. Check hourly pay. That's fine. Then the check within parentheses. Hourly pay is greater than or equal to 10. $10 per hour. Okay, let's run this. Yeah, that appears to have worked. I'm going to select all from employees. Let's take a look at our table. Then we will attempt to add a new employee. Insert into employees values. We need an employee ID, first name, last name, hourly pay, then a higher date. Employee ID will be six. First name, Sheldon Plankton. For hourly pay, let's attempt to pay Plankton maybe $5 per hour, then a higher date. 2023-01-07. Let's see if that check constraint kicks in. We're paying Plankton under $10 per hour. Yeah, it doesn't appear that we can do so. Check constraint, check hourly pay is violated. Now let's pay Plankton $10 per hour. Yeah, that worked just fine. If you need to delete a check, you would type alter table, the name of the table, drop check, then the name that you gave that check. In my case, it was check hourly pay. And that check has been dropped. Yeah, everybody, that is the check constraint. It's used to limit what values can be placed in a column. It's another useful method for checking input. And that is the check constraint in MySQL.